Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today was WWDC 25. And with it, we've seen updates to all of Apple's software platforms, including iOS 26. That's right, 26. We're skipping 19 through 25. This was done to simplify the naming scheme of all of Apple's software and, of course, match the year. And I think it actually does make some sense. We're going to discuss which iPhones and iPads are receiving the new updates to iOS and iPad OS. So let's start with iOS 26 and iPhone. The only iPhones currently on iOS 18 that won't be getting the update are the 2018 iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max. This is not surprising, these phones are nearly 7 years old, which is the longest amount of time Apple has ever supported their phones when it comes to major updates. The iPhone 6S achieved that, receiving from 2015 to 2022. The good news here, if you're on one of these phones, is that they're not really dead in the water. First off, they still have full support until this fall, and of course Apple is pretty great with continued security updates, with the iPhone 6S, for example, getting an update as recently as only a few months ago ago despite still being on iOS 15. So this puts the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, and the 2020 iPhone SE second generation as the oldest iPhones still fully supported on iOS. I really doubt any of these phones get iOS 27. The SE second gen in particular only has 3 gigabytes of RAM, so it'll be interesting to see how it even runs iOS 26, especially with the redesign, although there are some features that you may not get on these older phones. Some of the lock screen features where the time dynamically adapts to your photo, that is so Solely on the iPhone 12 and later. It does appear that most features are coming to the older phones though, including of course this whole liquid glass redesign, which, you know, somewhat dramatically shakes up how iOS will feel for the first time in quite a long time. So if you're on the 11, 11 Pro or the SE second gen, I would probably consider an upgrade to a new iPhone within the next year if that's something you're ready for, but for the time being you can rest easy knowing that they are still fully up to date. And again, even when they lose support, not a death sentence, and you'll still be able to download basically any app for a number of years, so nothing too serious to worry about yet. So, how about iPadOS 26? Apple's naming scheme for iPads are a mess, but these are the iPads getting the update. As far as I can tell, the only iPad on iPadOS 18 that won't get the update is the iPad 7th generation, which is not surprising. It has the A10 chip. I'm honestly surprised it even got to iPadOS 18. So if you own any other iPad that is on iPadOS 18, you're good to go for this year, which is nice because it seems like there's some cool new features hitting iPads. Although if you don't have a newer iPad with Apple Intelligence support, you might not get every new feature that is hitting. And of course, same goes for iPhone. So that's about it for iPadOS 26 slash iOS 26. You only have three devices losing support. iPhone XS, iPhone XR, and the iPad 7th generation. As always, Apple seems to be really good with supporting their older devices, and my big question is, how many more years will some of these phones get? I am happy to see the 2020 second generation SE is getting this update, despite only having three gigabytes of RAM. But all in all, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the new iOS update? Make sure you leave a comment down below. Any new changes you're excited for? Are you going to try out the beta? This is just a short video to talk about what's supported, but I might have some more stuff on iOS 26 coming soon. With that, I think I'm right about done here. Shout out to the Discord server. You guys should come join if you haven't already. We had a fun time watching the WWDC stream over there. And that's about it for me. Thank you for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.